birds love to dig. So a dig box provides excellent source of entertainment within a controlled space. Let's run down our top 10 pillars for your ferret's dig box and importantly why they are good or bad options. Before we start, we have a worthy mention for the water bowl. Ferrets can be fascinated with a water bowl, especially if you put something in it for them to fish out. But it's obviously not very practical, as water usually gets everywhere. Great for a summer's day perhaps, and so isn't really part of our top 10. At number 10, there is the bark chippings, the sort you use for landscaping and flower beds. Ferrets do love to dig in bark, but it's better suited to large areas rather than dig boxes. This being because the bark pieces are quite big and don't move freely around the dig box. Similar to bark, at number 9 we have wood shavings. It does provide a more diggable medium, but often ferrets treat it more as bedding, so it doesn't elicit as much of a digging behaviour as the better ferret fillers do. Number 8 is sand. This is good for digging, but has a couple of major downsides. Firstly, many ferrets treat it as a litter tray. And secondly, it tracks everywhere, coating furnishings and beds with a fine sand dust. At number seven, we have soil or compost. This is actually one of the ferrets' favorites, presumably due to the natural variety of smells. But, similar to sand, it tracks everywhere, leaving everything they have covered in mud. At number 6, there is hay or straw. They do love to burrow in it. It's quite clean, but their activity tends to stop quickly after they realise they've made a nice bed. So we keep hay for nest boxes rather than dig boxes. Number 5 sees the arrival in the post of the infamous packing peanuts. These provide an entertaining dig experience for ferrets, but we find some at ferrets just eat the natural starch peanuts. And the old polystyrene ones are a health hazard if chewed, even if just in play rather than to eat. If you get a ferret that doesn't chew either, then great! For position number 4 we have dried pasta or beans. These provide a satisfying physical and sound experience, but can be expensive and the pasta can break leaving sharp points and disintegrated medium. Third place goes to crispy autumn leaves. This has not only a great feel and sound experience, but also has that natural outdoor smell enrichment that ferrets just seem to love. Two big downsides are that the leaves are not available all year and that they quickly disintegrate into crumbly leaf powder. Second place goes to good old ball pit. It's cheap and clean and gives a great physical and audible experience. However, it's not really a dig box per se, so we usually have a ball pit available in addition to a dig box. Gold medal first place goes to rice. We find this to be by far and away the most preferable dig box filler. It's very clean, very cheap and has a fantastic dig quality to it. Our ferrets play with it in so many ways, such as digging, shuffling, burying, as well as simply rolling around playing on top. We use just basic cheap long grain white rice. Some people are concerned that rice would get stuck in a ferret's nose, or rice dust could lead to a blockage. But this really is an unfounded concern. Ferrets are, by nature, an animal that is constantly snuffling through undergrowth, in dirt and down dusty tunnels, so it's highly equipped to deal with seeds, dirt, stones, twigs and anything else that could go in its nose. Also, the long grain rice comes almost entirely dust free. We have 14 ferrets who play in their rice box daily, and we've never yet experienced a problem. So why don't you give it a go? Check out the links in the description below for the box we use. It's a good size for a fun dig experience and is deep enough to ensure most of the contents stay in the box. It also has a lid in case you want to limit access or store it away. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe and try out some of our other videos.